the hard part to do a successful broadcast is to filter all the people that are listening to you and talking to you and deciding who it is you need to listen to at that precise moment and communicate your next decision in a very short amount of time. Things happen quickly, so you have to really use your instincts. You have to be quick, you have to be fast, um, but you have to be calm. And that's really, really important. You can't be, I call it organized chaos. Every week, the game takes you in a direction you might not have expected, and you have to just react. You have to react. You can't go in planning a live event. You can't do that. You definitely can be prepared, but then a game breaks out, and then you have to be able to react and use your instincts. And that's really important. Um, it's about instincts, it's about reaction, um, it's about thinking ahead. For example, maybe, you know, Tom Brady obviously is, is, is here. Maybe Philadelphia goes on a, a long drive, and maybe we haven't seen Tom Brady. So we'll check in with Tom Brady. So I'll, sometimes the camera people will just, they'll know, because they know that's what we're looking for. Or maybe I have to tell them, you know, hey, camera 42 or camera 12, get to Brady after, after this play. What our crew does well is we've, we capture the emotion of, of games. So you have the action on the field, and you have the emotional side of the game, which is not just on the field, but carrying it over to the sidelines. So you follow people, and Brady's a good example. You know, Brady is so competitive that, you know, he, he shows his emotion on the sidelines. And there are players like that, and you have to be conscious of who those players are and, and follow those stories from the field onto the sidelines.